Hello, this is Morgana Ray, your money magnet goddess queen, with our fourth video on how to be a money goddess. This week we talk about Aphrodite. Now, people don't necessarily associate Aphrodite with being a money magnet because she's all about love. Well, let me tell you, there is no more attractive energy than love. When a woman is loved, we radiate, we have confidence, we are irresistible to everything. And no one knows better how to invite love and how to love herself than Aphrodite. And there's something irresistible about self-care. Aphrodite is the goddess of pleasure and beauty and love. And when we give that to ourselves, when we create a beautiful environment, and when we dress up and we feel beautiful, and when we value our pleasure, whether it's getting a massage or going to the spa or whatever makes us enjoy being in our skin, we just charge that magnet, that money magnet, that love magnet, that client magnet, that happiness magnet. Unfortunately, for most of us women in business, our Aphrodite is starved for attention. We are in achievement mode. We are making money. We are chasing clients. We are working, working, working. Even if we're really good at it, we are in our business, our masculine mode. And that's not working for our happiness. And for many of us, it's not working for our money either. The more we push and push, the more we're pushing away what we want. And that's why Aphrodite is perfect for turning it around. It's counterintuitive. We think we should wait until we're rich to go on that vacation or get that massage. And sometimes, in fact, I would say often when you have a new relationship with money that's in alignment with making you powerful and loved, those silly little things like getting a pedicure can result in tens of thousands of dollars just showing up. And I only know that because I've seen it so often with my own clients. Go to alchemysuccess.com to see what I'm talking about. Because so back to Aphrodite, because she's starved for attention, because we're in that go, 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 masculine, what I call the Athena, the, uh, the Athena syndrome. Aphrodite gets pissed off and what I, I call this the wounded Aphrodite because she's being ignored and she's not being nourished and a wounded Aphrodite shows up in relationships that are devoid of romance that don't honor you, uh, compulsive eating, compulsive sexuality, uh, compulsive shopping. Yes, we want to adorn ourselves, but when it's compulsive, something is off with our Aphrodite energy, and we are not in our power, and we are not in our beauty, and we are feeling weak and less than and bad about ourselves. A wounded Aphrodite can feel ugly, she may have an eating disorder. She may have a lot of clutter in her house and not in a beautiful environment, and it just makes her feel worse and worse about herself. And in many cases, a wounded Aphrodite shows up as a really powerful leader woman. You know the type who makes millions of dollars and is beautiful and inspirational. And she can't get a good relationship to save her life, and she doesn't know why, and it hurts. Because on some level, even though it looks like she has the money thing handled, she doesn't. She has a relationship with money, like a money monster, that doesn't allow her to relax and trust and receive love. And I have to tell you, I talk to the men who love these women, and they say that they love and admire these women, but when their girlfriend comes home, they don't want to have a penis fight with their girlfriend. And that's another, that's another sign of the wounded Aphrodite who isn't in her power and in her femininity. And the amazing thing is, 
when a woman really gets in touch with her Aphrodite, checks come in and invitations and the world loves Aphrodite. That is her talent. So we have to activate that Aphrodite energy. And frankly, the best way that I have seen to do that is through the financial alchemy process. And it will take you through the steps from that money monster who embodies anything that has ever made you feel unworthy, unlovable, unsafe, unbeautiful, and you create the monster and you get rid of him because that money has been playing up in your life economically, that monster. And when the monster is gone, then you get your money honey, who is your divine lover. He is that gorgeous sweetie that you've always fantasized about. And he loves you no matter what. You don't have to earn his love. You don't have to change for him. You have his love unconditionally. Now, if you reject him, it may look like he's going away, but he's just waiting for you to invite him back in. And I think, I think we talked a little bit about that in Psyche. But I want you, those of you who are not familiar with financial alchemy, to go through the steps because the end result, when you have your beloved, your imaginary money honey, who makes your heart pound and makes you feel beautiful and worthy because nothing is more attractive than a woman who is loved, then you are in your Aphrodite power. And when you ask your money, money, or whatever you want to call him, what do you need from me so you can stay with me? And you listen to what he says. Odds are, from my experience coaching over a thousand women, that he will say something like, I want you to know how beautiful you are. Or, I want you to buy those stockings with the black seams. Or I want you to go to the spa. And it may seem silly and it may not make sense, but I have to tell you, I've had a lot of clients receive $10,000 within 48 hours after making their money honey happy. And that's what I want for you. And I will see you in the next video on Persephone, the goddess of the underworld, who teaches us our life purpose and is the key to our riches.